Once be about to fight. Hey. On TV of the facts, yeah. On TV of the facts. On TV of the facts. We about to sip some tea. 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 Let's sip some tea, let's sip some tea. You gonna sip some tea with me? Let's sip some tea, let's sip some tea. You're gonna sip the tea with me. So listen, haunty, 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 haunty. A chief, the interim, got her face crunched. A tada. Her face, what? <laughs> Auntie, he be crunched. You know, mm. <laughs> snatched. Embarrassed. She thought she had that. Baby, them, that counselor said, eh, wrong answer, we don't believe. None of that bull, uh, you be saying, lady. You full of, yeah, just like Auntie B said you was. But you had that baby hair uh, laid uh, to the side, and your eyebrows cute, but your numbers will not do. Huh? Huh? Y'all know I couldn't wait. It's the most stuff going on in the streets, you know. But, baby, when I saw that about, what, 10, 15 minutes ago, I said, pump the brakes, boo. You ain't going nowhere, huh? They don't believe you. Let's sip some tea. 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 Let's go, y'all. I ain't going to waste no time because you know this thing is subject to cut off. You know what I mean? But it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Let's go. Let's go. Oops upside the head. I say oops upside her head. Say what? Believe you. Police chief Mayor Paul Young says he intends to change that after budget season by reappointing C.J. Davis. The problems that we were seeing at the start of the year are still problems. We don't believe you. Um, um, you know, homicide numbers are still high. Still breaking records. Um, my latest reports from the police department are that we have a lie. 42 as of today. Jerry Green was one of seven. We don't believe voted you. No back in January when a motion to reappoint we Davis don't believe failed you. six to seven. Green says it was no then and we it's don't no believe you somebody that voted no back in January when a motion to reappoint David no! failed six to seven. Green says it was no then of course and not. it's no now. <laughs> I'm just here for somebody it's that not will all that make fine. successful and be truthful with the council. Be what? Green's no now. I'm just here for somebody that will make methods successful and be truthful with the council. Green mentioned recent tragedy. Stop lying in her pocket. Mass shooting in Orange Mound, where nine people were shot and two people were killed. Rest in peace. Plus, an officer involved shooting that left an MPD officer Rest in peace. and an 18 year old dead. Rest in peace. I'm still the number one issue in my district and in this city. And we don't we believe seen you, a real plan. We Chief. We haven't seen any change. We reached out to all seven we don't members believe who you. Know to see where they stand. In a statement to WREG, JB Smiley says, quote, I know public safety and crime are top of mind for everyone. I am committed to listening to the citizens of Memphis and hope that there is a consensus around which direction we should take. 
what I'm hearing from my fellow council members. We don't believe you. Things we're all getting in our inboxes from constituents is I want to feel safe. For your news leader, and we news don't news believe Simon, you. WREG News Channel 3. We don't believe you. We don't believe you, boo. We don't believe you. And your track record is horrible. I don't care what nobody says. But your eyebrows cute. We want justice. We want justice. We want y'all to do y'all job right the first time. Yeah. We tired of cover up. We tired of you being a part of the problem. You and your homies. Yeah. We don't believe you. Mm -hmm. We don't believe you. The truth will set her free. Breaking news on your news leader at five. A crew is on the scene of a crash in Whitehaven. Whitehaven. This is the scene on Boingshire and East Rains. We're about to look at right now. Oh, we Lord, there was something just there the other night, to wasn't it? More. We will update you as soon as we have more oh information. My God. And there, the crash, you see it right there. A black truck, it looks like crash there in the middle of the road and another car off to the side. He really don't believe her, do you? No, I don't. Let's go. And welcome to the factory. Several markers, crime scene tape, and officers were still here on the scene more than four hours after a shooting in South Memphis. Memphis police blocked off at least four blocks, trying to put together what led up to the shooting on Rayburn and Patton Street early Thursday morning. It shouldn't be this way. It should be, you get up, go to work without you're seeing crime tape and you know, going about your merry way, but here it's different. We spoke to Jeffrey McCollins as he was preparing to leave for work. He describes what startled him just after four Thursday morning. Something like six shots, something like that, yeah, four, then two more. Memphis police tell us the shooting leaves one man in critical condition at Regional One Hospital. McCollin says this is just one of the examples of why police chief C.J. Davis should not be reinstated. Exactly. Uh, uh, crime here just spiral out of control and uh, police chief C.J. Davis be re reappointed and homicide rate is up. A block away, examples of why police chief C.J. Davis should not be reinstated. The uh, uh, crime here just spiral out of control and uh, police chief C.J. Davis be re reappointed and homicide rate is up. A block away, two weeks ago, Devin Thomas was shot and killed on South Parkway in 3rd Street. According to the Memphis Data Hub, there have been six incidents in this area so far this year. McCollins has questions for police chief C.J. Davis. What are you doing? Do you need more people? How can this be? She at the I salon. Mean, what's going on? This man does not she want the to salon. be identified. He agrees with his neighbor, but also says it starts at home not want to be identified he agrees with his neighbor but also says it starts at home true that first uh, you got to have your parents out here to uh, raise your kids because the kids not got the guns they both agree put the guns down man reporting for your wre sound community is a common sight and sound <laughs> 
So too is the sound of gunfire, some say. I can't hardly sleep at night with that going on. When I wake up in the morning, it's going to say boom, 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 boom. For the past 24 years, Ron Robertson has called the area home. Police responded just before midnight to Button and Douglas, where a man was gunned down, unable to survive his injuries. Crime scene tape went up, with some keeping their guard up as well in order to dodge danger. Every day. Every day. Wow. Yeah, Sorry. Every day. Wow. Yeah, Sorry. Every day. Yeah. Every day. Here's what we found searching the city's data hub. When it comes to assaults, homicides, robberies, and weapon offenses, each dot represents someone's loved one. From May of last year to present day, funded within a half mile radius of the overnight attack 266 times. The area has since cleared, mm -hmm. however, mm -hmm. what remains are medical supplies, mm -hmm. as well as blood smeared in the street, which we are being extremely careful not to show. These are just some of the reminders of what happened overnight. As police work to bring to light the gunmen, mm -hmm. neighbors are working on ways to bring the community mm -hmm. together. It's a fine thing. All these neighborhood watch. Adding is not enough to simply have the sign on display. Involvement mm -hmm. must happen. In an effort, Mr. Robertson says to see an end to what he feels is soaring crime. They ain't gonna stop till somebody do something bad. For your news leader exactly. in Orange Mountain. Every day every day how do you live like that the stress of it all would wear me to death in order to dodge danger every day wow every i'm sorry every day. yeah every day, every day. here's what we found searching the city's data hub eyes as well as blood smeared in the street which we are being extremely careful not to show these are just some of the reminders of what happened overnight. As police work to bring to light the gunmen, neighbors are working on ways to bring the community together. It's a fine thing. All these neighborhood watch. Adding is not enough to simply have the sign mm -hmm. on display. Involvement must happen. In an effort, Mr. Robertson says to see an end to what he feels is soaring crime. They ain't gonna stop till somebody do something bad. For your news, still creeping. I knew I, I recognized that man. We that, miss them every day. In June 2022, Elizabeth Covington's grandson, Jerry Anderson III, who many called Trey, was with his father, Jerry Anderson Jr., him. when Trey got a hold of a gun and accidentally shot himself. <laughs> Engine 91. Sadly, the loving, smart, and happy child didn't make it. He was only four years old. It's this not is the child's fault. This is not Trey's fault. WREG investigators requested the autopsy 22 months ago, but that still Anderson haven't cat. received it. And the he was at a shootout. Gave us, it states Trey's paternal grandfather, With CMG. Senior, now, kept a weapon in his drawer in the bedroom. If memory serves me correctly. Trey found it that day and somehow shot himself in the head. The type of death, a suspected homicide. And the German town. And the father, they had conflicting stories. Who was know? these people and shooting? So so I have to go for it. There's nothing conflicting about leaving a gun in the reach of a child. Man. When it happened, Trey's yeah. father was out on bond on a long list of charges stemming from a shooting in 2020 this. caught on camera. Police say it left 130 shell casings and three. Yeah, I remember that. Including a top caught on camera. <laughs> say it left 130 shell casings and three people injured including a toddler and 70 year old in february he pleaded to lesser charges getting eight years probation this week he was back in jail with his father the two now indicted for trade that that uh g wagon I'm going to have to go back into my archives. I got this story. I got this story, y'all. This cat is tied. <laughs> it's always something. This that G wagon. And infinity is somewhere around. Father was out on bond from a shooting in 2020. The system just turned a blind eye and they just put a list of charges stemming from a shooting in 2020 caught on camera. <laughs> Police 
police say it left 130 shell casings and three people injured, including a toddler and 70-year-old. In February, he pleaded to lesser charges, getting eight years probation. This week, he was back in jail with his father. The two now indicted for Trey's death. The indictment stating they neglected Trey that day, resulting in serious bodily injury and his death. The third count in this indictment states the firearm was stolen and it even says who it belongs to, but it doesn't say how or why they had it. While the autopsy was completed nine months ago, the Shelby County District Attorney's Office stated in part, the initial prosecutor is no longer with the office and that could have played a role in the delay. Both men already walked who was free that? after their bond was lowered to $80,000. Covington is furious. Two adults who left a loaded gun, a stolen loaded gun, out for a child to reach. Then the system just turned a blind eye and they just put them back out on the street and nothing is done. The DA's office says Anderson Jr. will have a bond arraignment in July. And that's when they'll determine if... How many more people will be shot and bond. killed? The news all unfolding while Hill Trey's hit mother man. is in the hospital after giving birth. Trey you see, a, a whole brother, gang of you know, folk was shooting. That, that, that he didn't uh, live to see his little brother. She shared a picture of the health ranches where there is a big police presence at a home belonging to singer Sean Kingston. This includes the SWAT team. Local tennis reporter Roy Ramos is live at the scene. And you have some breaking details to bring us, I understand, Roy. Well, Christy and Janice, we have just learned that this is the home of a singer and producer Sean Kingston, you're standing right off of Griffin Road and 178th Avenue off in the distance there. We were watching as these deputies were initially standing outside of the home, but in the last 15 minutes or so, I can tell you that they have now moved inside. Let's go ahead and show you what this all looked like when we first arrived here. Sky 10 up above the Southwest Ranch's home of well-known recording artist Keaston, or Keyshawn Anderson, I should say, but you may know him as Sean Kingston. It's outside. We spotted more than a dozen Broward Sheriff deputies next to a command center. Investigators set up in the driveway of the musician's home. In a complaint we obtained from the Broward Clerk of Courts, we learned that a company by the name of Ver Ver Entertainment alleges that Kingston partially paid for a 232-inch television and entertainment system, but following the installation, never paid for that product in full, allegedly. The complaint also goes on to allege Kingston used his name and celebrity status to scam people out of products and services, never paying for them. Well, I just spoke with... And it took all of this for... ...who represents Ver Ver Entertainment. Uh, credit? what he told me. He has basically a sales pitch that he goes through to uh, defraud people. Uh, he induces them into giving them really expensive things. We know that our property is uh, inside this house right here. So as soon as the raid uh, takes place, we're going to have uh, a crew of people in there to uh, deassemble it and uh, take it back to its rightful owner. Oh, wow. And I can't tell you that relatives for Kingston were outside of the... All of this because of a TV? ...said that they had no comment at this time. Never paying for them? Well, I just spoke with the attorney, Dennis Card, who represents Ver Ver Entertainment. Here's what he told me. He goes through to defraud people. Uh, he induces them into giving them really expensive things. We know that our property is uh, inside this house right here. So as soon as the raid uh, takes place, we're going to have uh, a crew of people in there to uh, deassemble it and uh, take it back to its rightful owner. Wow. And I can't tell you that relatives for Kingston were outside of the property. We did try to speak with them. However, they said that they had no comment at this time. As for Sean Kingston, we still have yet to see him here on the property. They're not but playing with these rappers. The Singers. could be facing charges that include fraud and breach of contract. As soon as we hear back from uh, his uh, representatives, we will be sure to let you know. For now, the home of singer Sean Kingston and took his mother into custody. CBS News Miami. Why is mom? Is live from the scene, and Ted Cruz have been there for hours. Yeah, they've actually been out here all day long. Now, the action has died down a little bit as some of those deputies who were here earlier have already left. But you can see behind me here that uh, the command center is still set up out here outside of the home. Y'all better the stop frauding these people out their money. Ago, that's where more than a dozen deputies went in armed with a search warrant. Go away to beautiful girl. He's a famous rapper. We're talking about Kashawn Anderson, known to his fans as Sean Kingston. His Southwest Ranch's mansion is 
being raided by BSO. There's full-blown raid uh, that's being executed. There's probably 30 uh, deputies in there from BSO, from SWAT. Um, they're basically taking everything in the house. Dennis Card is an attorney. He gives us a look inside. They're taking everything at the house. size television. He said that $150,000 TV was not paid in full. His clients pulled up in a U-Haul. They're taking it back. It's an LED component system. There's probably a thousand components, and they're literally taking the LEDs out, and then they're taking the uh, the wiring that's behind it. Uh, there's 64 panels of that. They're taking it down. Deputies and police carried out expensive-looking luggage, along with boxes and bags. According to Card, Kingston scams people using his fame. He tells a story. He's got basically a script. He says that he works with Justin Bieber, and that uh, he obviously puts on a big show here. This is a rental house. He doesn't own it. Um, and he lures people using his celebrity uh, into having them release things without him paying for it, and then he simply never pays. Kingston's mother, Janice Turner, was arrested, accused of fraud and theft. This afternoon, the rapper put out a statement on Instagram saying, People love negative energy. I am good, and so is my mother. My lawyers are handling everything as we speak. Wow. Stop for, <laughs> stop taking people's property. Stop taking their cookies. They, you know, they, you know, they hoes. Stop all that. They TV. Stop. Stop stealing. Justice for dog. Somebody got to pay for this, y'all. So I need y'all to say this with me. We're not above each other. We're not above each other. We're not below each other. We're not each other. We're always with each other. We're with each other. We're always 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 with each other. I just told you we rich now, nigga, but he wanna take his damn mask off. And it's free cut up, nigga. It's free cut off. They was always cool with Cotto. Better known as Young Dolph. And to this day, no one has been sentenced in his death, even though one of the suspects has already pled guilty. It's been almost one year since Jamarcus Johnson pleaded guilty to three counts of accessory after the fact. Prosecutors say Johnson was not involved in the shooting or the planning, but did assist his half-brother, Justin Johnson, escape after the shooting. At the time, the judge said the charges would bring a sentence of 6 to 12 years. And according to court records, Johnson bonded out the same day he entered the guilty plea and has been out awaiting his sentencing. Johnson was scheduled to appear in court this Wednesday morning, but his appearance was reset because Division 10 judge Jennifer Mitchell was out for the day. According to the Shelby County Criminal Justice Portal, Johnson was supposed to have a hearing to discuss a petition to suspend his sentence. We reached out to his attorney who says his client's case will continue to... Let's fizzle. Long live Dow. Justice for Dow. Shout out to Key Glock. He got a Texas t-shirt. I'm just now seeing the Texas t-shirt and it's already sold out. How is that? Huh? I bet y'all won't miss it the next time. I told y'all. <laughs> they connected. Go sign the petition. Full justice for Adolf Robert Thornton Jr. Young Dolph. The number is rising. 385 people signed today. Go support Dolph's family so that we can get justice for young Dolph. We've come too far for them to drop the ball. We can't drop the ball 
and we can't let them drop the ball. Go sign. All right, y'all. I'll be back. Peace. Did we did we sip enough tea tonight? Sip, sip, sip. Sip, sip, sip. Sip some tea with me. Yeah. Sip some tea with me. Yeah. Sip some tea with me. Sip, 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 some tea with me. Yeah. Hit the like button. Can y'all go back and hit the like button for the last two or three? I would greatly appreciate it.